Yeah, good. All Everything right. good? Yeah, well, I'm hoping so. We'll All see. Right. How's it going, guys? Adam here with AA for Entrepreneurs, here with the Green Nurse Group. How are you ladies doing today? We are doing wonderful. Hello, my friends. How oh, are you? I'm great. Can't be better. There's so many like-minded, amazing people here. I like couldn't be happier. This is my zone, my zen. It's totally the can of family. Yeah. Right? It definitely is. We're bringing everything together here. You know, um, medical, recreational, adult use, yep. education, vendors, growing. Bean Town, Green Town's got that. What is it? Giant 100, joint. 110 foot. I gotta get a video foot. of that. Oh my goodness. Right. I saw it today. I saw the little sneak preview of it, and it's. I haven't seen it yet. I want to take a hit off of it. That's all I know. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> fun? I hear it's like got gold, a gold wrapper yep, on it. Yep. Yep. It does. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so for my for my listeners or watchers that might not know what you do, can you explain what Green Nurse Group uh, does for cannabis patients? Absolutely. So the Green Nurse Group is a nonprofit whole health consulting agency. And what we do is we educate on cannabinoid therapeutics. Our goal is to bridge the gap from what people aren't getting from traditional medicine to help manage debilitating chronic disease symptoms, yep. chronic pain, multiple diseases. Um, we also do certifications. Our board certified nurse practitioner who is currently just got her PhD. She just found Congratulations. out. Congratulations. Dr. Dale Buckman. She doctor does, now. Doctor. She's a doctor. That's so Dr. Amazing. Dale Buckman, she's Dr. our medical Dale. director. Yep, medical director at Green Nurse Group. And so she does certifications. And so we have a collaborative approach as to how we're taking care of patients. Mm -hmm. We focus on whole health, total health care, bio, psycho, social, spiritual aspects of healing. We not only look at patients' medical diagnoses, but we look at their lifestyle. We look at all of their symptoms and we wanna know how is, their, how is their social life? Do they have a spiritual life? What is going on with you physically? What is mm -hmm. going on with you mentally? So what important. Is, right, to tie it all together. Because can't, let's face it, cannabis can be expensive. Very. And we wanna teach people how to maximize the cannabinoids that are out there to help them reach the level of wellness that they're looking for. Exactly. So it's a customizable approach. Right. And not everybody uses it the same way, uses exactly. the same methods, uses the same products. They want a different effect. Yep. So we're out there to educate them on how to get the effect that they're looking for, how to mitigate the effects that they're not looking for. Because face it, I mean, if you over-medicate, over <laughs> you, can, you can get yourself into a situation, yep. you know, that's unpleasant. So we're there to help them even before they get into that. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually helping somebody. She unfortunately has uterine cancer and I gave her some FICO and it was messing her up horribly. She found an article on black pepper that actually yes. helped bring down the psychoactive effect of the, the THC. Beta-carafeline, yes. Yeah, and the other thing that's really good too for anyone that over-medicates is, um, it's a crazy, but even the warm showers do help, right? right? That's one thing. CBD helps. Citrus, I was mm. hearing, was like a lemon zest, orange zest. Mm. Um, other thing too is going outside, taking your shoes off, and being fresh on the air, fresh yeah. air, earthing. Yeah, um, earthing so on, important. Yeah. Everything you're talking about right now just makes so much sense because I feel like people like will have some kind of ailment and just you know own in on the physical pain of it instead of like where you're at mentally, where you're at spiritually, like you're saying. And yes. that's so that's so, so important. It's great to hear you so guys we, spreading So we try that. to connect the dots. You have to. The other thing that we've been granted the opportunity now that we've done Green Nurse Group is we're able to bring this information to others, Cannabis Radio Network. Yep. Uh, we have Green Nurse Radio Show, which is on every Wednesday night. And what we're doing is we're bringing various topics. Yep. Um, and things that people don't like to talk about. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we like right to bring... To the forefront. Yeah, you, so you know? not only... We talk about it. Talking about different illnesses, but different concerns, you mm -hmm. know, medical concerns, the recreational concerns, the social com consumption concerns, and, and bringing different vendors in and patient stories. You know, so, so we... Um, it's been really fun, and, and basically the part that's really nice is we find that through this educational process and bringing people on to tell their stories of healing, it's really decreasing stigma and opening the eyes to the public that it's not something to be afraid of. Yep. It's another tool for wellness, another tool for enjoyment. Yep. You know, and it, all it requires is for people to learn. Right. Education, education is so important. It really is. There's so much misinformation, and this is probably going to be on every video, so if you're hearing this, you're going to remember it. 
1911, Massachusetts was the first state to make cannabis illegal. So 107 years of lying, literally lying and propaganda, takes some time to get that out of people's heads. Right. Yeah, oh, it totally does. I mean, and I, one of the shows that I have on, um, I interviewed my mother. My mother was someone, you know, she's someone that was, followed the doctor's orders, yep. strict Catholic, you know, the devil's lettuce. And trust me, there were issues. Like I, when I decided to start that cannabis route to medicate for my symptoms, she had a hard time with it. She blocked me on Facebook. Mom, oh my, shame on you. Mom. <laughs> but through her seeing me get better and starting to live a high quality life and enjoying myself again and being happy, she started watching the show. And then she started seeing stories of people that look just like her that are using cannabis as a tool yep. to manage their symptoms of chronic illness. And she's seeing things and learning things. And it started to decrease the stigma for her yep. where she's open to trying it. That's amazing. So she tried it and she's been on it for a couple of months now. And she, had, on one of our shows, she tells about her experience. And the part that I love is that she says, Sherry, I'm not high. I just feel good, oh, right? So I feel that. That good. Was one of my favorite shows when your mother was on. Because oh my god. She's gosh. just. In other words, she was using it in an appropriate way yep. where it was able to manage her symptoms. Yep. So she didn't feel all wiggy that she was high. She didn't yep. judge the feeling. She knew that she felt good. Exactly. And that's so that's important. important. We 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 no one needs to suffer. Nope. Cannabis can literally help anybody, I think, literally. Um, kind of piggybacking off that, how do you feel that our state is doing with this legislation for cannabis? It's evolving. It's a work in progress. It really, really is important that the people that are for this participate in the process. We the people, right? For the people. Everybody's voices need to be heard. You know? So I think, you know, it's it's going to be constantly evolving, constantly changing. But I think the more that we are involved in a respectful way and mm -hmm. participate in that change, Massachusetts has the potential to be the greatest cannabis state in the country. I think so. You know, like I, I know so many growers through, you know, CGA and everything, too. There's so many good growers in Massachusetts right. and we have. We have a, a tough like environment, you know, outdoors it gets to a million percent humidity out here and we have to learn how to fight with that. We don't have the Cali humidity, you know, um, so our, our growers out here just have to like learn how to overcome so much more, I feel like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Man, that was so much information. <laughs> I, know, I love it. I know, I know. So yeah, make sure you tune in on Wednesday nights, Cannabis Radio Network. Um, Green Nurse Radio Show, live from 8 to 9 p.m. And you guys are on Instagram, Facebook. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Awesome. Yeah. It was so. such a pleasure talking to you, it ladies. So oh, nice. And thank listen, you. thank you for helping people to live their best lives. I try. We appreciate yeah. it. Definitely. All right. Peace. <laughs>